Hi everyone, welcome to the Matrix Oracle. My name is Audrey. I am your host for this Aquarius season forecast. So January 20th to February 19th, 2024, you can watch this according to the element of your rising or sun sign. But I would suggest the rising sign. This came as I was getting ready for channeling this message. There's something about the archetype of Aquarius that is about showing the way, leading the way, embodying truly your authentic self so you can move forward. There's a, an energy of leadership. And in your natal chart, your rising sign is connected to your sacred avatar, to the embodiment of who you are becoming in terms of an archetype. All right, let's get started with those messages. And please remember, if you like those videos and to support you, remember to like and even give me a comment. I really enjoy connecting with all of you. Thank you. Right, let's get started for Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, either sun or rising signs. For this Aquarius season, let's get a dragon energy message here. We're going to get a totem animal as well. Okay, maybe more than <laughs> one, three, whatever that is. It is a healing card. And then we'll work on the energies together with the good tarot. All right, let's see what we have together. We we'll first have the air and water dragon. Interesting because it is Aquarius season helps you to connect to higher frequencies. Yes. Trust your intuition, develop your psychic abilities, be open to enlightenment, express your inner song. Wow. I am loving this energy for you air elements, whether sun or rising. This this feel this felt really activating. I could I've been feeling it this whole week in ahead of preparation. I'm like, this feels big. And let's see what we have for the healing card. Entrapment. With this card, it already gives me an insight I want to share. As far as rehearsing a song, what is rehearsing a song? Just telling ourselves a certain story about what we've experienced that either gets us out of the matrix or deeper in it. And what I mean by this is that um, there is a sense here of your own melody, your own inner harmony, your own inner dance is going to be of relevance because it can either free you or entrap you. Okay, it's interesting because it really um, has this element of being connected to sound here. Okay, let's see what we have with the Arc Tarot. The Nine of Pentacles with the White Peacock. Wow, heaven on earth, independence, and expensive thinking. Wow, I haven't worked with those yet. Um, much on the collective readings. So I'm looking forward to this. Then we have the Queen of Cups, Psychic Visionary, Compassion and Radiance. And the Fly, Five of Swords, Winning at All Cost, Pride Before the Fall. Feel that could be here. No, here. So what's very interesting? I almost feel there's a different organization. There we go. This month, dear Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Sun or Rising, you're going to want to tap into your heart in ways that spark the vision of what you want to see manifest. And when you do, you want to look at the 
conflicts, opposite beliefs that come out of them. Because with everything that we, you know, want to achieve, we can have sometimes little triggers. Triggers that would be related to certain past events and maybe past ways of telling a story, past songs that would make you feel a certain way towards those new dreams, goals, achievements that you want to manifest. There is a strong sense here for the season to merge parts of yourself, the parts that is more rational, reasonable, and the parts that's more intuitive, that's more even, I would say, sensual, that knows through the senses. And it's almost like making a merge between what we feel and having this insight, this, those words, those logic, that, that, that motion that comes into it. So we're going to work here with those entrapments, maybe some insights about what could be working against you because it says winning at all cost. So you got to watch not being caught up in the rat race. Okay. There's something about taking more of your time, especially with the nine of pentacles. This is someone that feels this natural inclination of abundance that doesn't need to rush. The pentacle is not rushed. The pentacle is invested. There's something about you being fully invested in your heart, in your vision, and making sure that when thoughts come and are disruptive, you address them. So let's see what else do we need about those disruptive thoughts? All right. Six of air. This is, this is, a re this is a place where you have to move away from. So I feel this is kind of indicating that you want to rehearse your dreams. And when disruptive thoughts show up, you want to Remove your focus from them. Having keen awareness of this, maybe intrusion, this voice, okay? Let's see if we can get maybe your source. The Ten of Air. Mm, in the reverse. There's something about a cycle of thinking that may still be Playing in the background. What is it? The Queen of Earth. In the upright. I feel there's another dragon coming to play here. Yes, look. In the reverse, the green dragon helps you tune into the secrets of nature. Receive answers and guidance from nature. Align with your divine essence. Wow, this is so interesting um, because I did create an album called Your True Abundant Nature that helps you tap into those codes. I do even have a video tutorial for this. So I really feel that it could be of support. So what, what we're seeing here is that the disruptive thoughts could be connected to lack mentality or just not realizing how abundant your true nature is. Because look at nature itself. It knows how to thrive. It knows how to replenish itself, rejuvenate itself. It has those codes inside that have divine intelligence and it's reminding you that you do too you do too through this month through this season where you're meant to raise your vibration develop more of your psychic gift express more of that inner song that inner voice nature 
is very much helping you to develop those codes. All right, let's see what else. What else do we want to know? Okay, at the bottom of the deck, that's usually a shadow. The high priestess in reverse. So maybe a block of intuition. Let's see with the healing card. Okay, what we can get here. Love. Mm. Could it be that some of you still hold limiting beliefs out of experiences that showed you that you were not lovable or in partnership that something about you, this uniqueness was to be feared, was a little bit shameful, too eccentric to some other people's taste. It feels as if your relationship to others, let me back you up a little bit. Oh, it's interesting, back you up. You have to rewind the story. You have to rewind. Okay, so when you're through the season, being called to tap into this higher frequency of yourself, those higher desire, higher vision, you know, this unleashes a whole, almost like a whole movie. Let's say you just say like, I want to build my own business or I want to be a writer. From that statement, when you let yourself feel, especially I would say if you practice this in nature, Okay, if you let yourself feel that desire, a whole movie can come. And as the movie comes, you pay attention to the thoughts connected to it that would be disruptive, that would be talking you out of it, talking you down. Okay, and when you hear those and you catch them, just like a fly, catch them. Okay, allow yourself to also take the time to find its root, its, <laughs> its point of inception. Now, I'm saying this and I, <laughs> I have a frequency called your subconscious mind that is connected to the movie Inception, that helps you dive into the layers where you can go back through those layers of subconscious self so you can tap into where this stems from. So I would suggest to use the subconscious mind at night. When you catch that, maybe journal it down, especially if you can't see where it's coming from. It is probably a seed that someone put in your garden. And that means like maybe someone, imagine you were young and you told your parents when you were a kid that you wanted to be, I don't know, a male person. I'm going to take my example because that's the one I remember. I wanted to be a male person. I wanted to deliver messages because writing messages and letters gave me joy. And I just was looking forward to people receiving that same joy and also myself experiencing this when I was receiving it and whether I was writing it. Until my mother came along with this very brutal statement saying, people are going to hate you. And I was like, why? Because you're going to bring them bills. I was very young, so I did not really understand, but I just associated this with People are going to hate you. It was really hard. It was really hard. I was like, okay, I don't want to do this. But it didn't discourage me from writing letters and really developing journaling and all those things because it brought me joy. But this is a small example where as a subconscious connection, I could have instilled this as far as like you sharing messages or story, Audrey, could result as a hate response, okay? So I'm sharing this little story because that's the first example that came up. And um, 
I am not an air sign <laughs> or a rising air. Um, but this is something that I feel for you that could be of support, okay? So we have the subconscious mind for working through those layers. Some of you, if you want to work with the True Abundant Nature album, and remember there's a video tutorial that can help you through the breath work, okay? That's something that you can do. There's going to be a shift. Now that we channel all of this, let's see what really holds <laughs> the season, okay? All right, those two cards wanted to be shown. We have the Messenger of Earth, and we have... The messenger of fire. The messenger of fire came reverse. I feel that what's interesting is that you're going to receive through this process more intuitive nudge about what actions to take and remove certain emotions, energy in motion that leads you to action and stop repeating certain actions that were more connected to this wound from the past that you're going to find the root cause and you're going to be able to be more in alignment and that's almost like you're becoming it's interesting that i said that i wanted to be a messenger um a male person because you have those messages so it is a great month for you to receive more messages about really almost like a step-by-step -step guidance of how to get into those that dream world manifesting the dream living the dream okay libra is very connected to this archetype of the subconscious of bringing the dream into manifestation and the messenger here of fire is going to show you the the emotions that needs to be removed but also the emotions that align you to the frequency of that dreamscape of that new reality for yourself and this is going to end this cycle this is going to end the cycle of repetition that may have stand uh, between your potential and its manifestation but it's definitely you have a lot of earth that's coming up and also air with your element. So <laughs> I would say be outdoors for this process. Be outdoors to almost like feel the wind, feel the earth, watch the earth, watch the trees to let yourself be inspired. All right. This is what I have for you, air elements, either sun or rising sun. I trust this has supporting you. I'm wishing you such a great and amazing, abundance and pro proliferic uh, month here because it's pretty much a month and season. I'm sending you many blessings and much love and light. Namaste. Water sign. So if you are a Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces, Sun or rising sign, this is your message for Aquarius season. All right, let's get some cards here. We'll see if we have to pull more. If you want to listen to the collective energy message, this is for the air element. Okay, I did not expect to pull that many. All right. Funny, this might be something about expectations here. Let's see. So we're going to look at those cards and then use the good tarot um, to work through those energies. Air and fire expands your creative energies. Harness your creativity, excitement, and enthusiasm. Communicate your passion. Wow. What are elements? There's <laughs> definitely some strong activation for this season for you. Okay, January 20th to February 19th, 2024. The inner child. Well, that sounds like fun. Sadness. Oh, we gotta heal that. And Phoenix rising. Wow. Okay. All right. 
I see as far as those animal cards here. The goat. The six of pentacle. Just rewards, generosity, and establishing boundaries. The pangolin. I had never known this, <laughs> this animal. Okay, the five of pentacles. Dark night of the soul. Loneliness, loss of home. It's interesting. I feel like there's something here. All right. Let's work through this. And the six of cups. The order. Reunion, reminiscing, inner child. This right away reminds me of the soul retrieval. There's something here. Oh, why did I put the dragon blocked? Okay, so water signs, whether it's your rising or your sun sign. Your creativity is wanting to be not just unleashed, but harnessed. It means there's a sense of self-mastery. There's a sense of you uh, not leaking out, especially with the Six of Pentacles, making sure that this burst of energy, this burst of maybe uh, Kundalini activation, uh, life force that you're receiving, doesn't get burnt out. And why I'm saying this, because there's a lot of messages about boundaries and the sadness, it may be a loss of it, so not burning the candles on both ends here, okay? Communicate your passion. Did I feel that maybe there was some type of past event? It could be from childhood for some of you. It could be something that has been repeated that stems from childhood. That creates this sadness. That may have also created to some extent, to some of you, those dark nights of the soul. Maybe it even led you to have a spiritual awakening. Okay. But you're getting here in this month a very strong, almost, I don't know why I want to say protective shield. Maybe some of you in your natal chart, you have a certain formation that's like, a, it's not a trine. It's a little bit shorter, larger, and it, uh, it has a trine in two sex styles. And it creates what is called a protective shield. So maybe you have this in your natal chart, or maybe there's some connection between your chart and between the current events of the cosmic dance, the cosmic planet uh, motion that creates this sacred geometry. And that is inviting you in, um, to deal with this, to transmute any past sadness from maybe childhood so you can unleash yourself in in ways that you haven't been able to unleash so far because this aquarius season has this leadership quality it's the way shore it it walks its talk you know it it really applies its own teachings its own lessons so i feel this is important for you make sure that you apply all that life has taught you thus far those maybe those dark nights of the soul maybe also um like i like to call it turning your your scars into stars there was something about the collective message that spoke of the inner voice the inner song you know watch how you tell your story to yourself because you're always listening so you want to make sure that you alchemize and you see the great qualities that have been developed for you as far as, you know, gifts now. Usually, especially if some of you are healers or are on that path, there's definitely uh, this quality that you can bring because you have a certain sensitivity that gives you and makes you tap into those qualities. All right, let's get the tarot cards to move into a greater message here. Your inner child wants to play. This is a month where I'm feeling like uh, 
a part of you needs to connect back to that feeling of joy, of that feeling of passion, of that feeling of everything you invest in is just feels awesome, feels just great. And if there's any sadness, then go and check out um, the collective message for the air because I give a lot of um, frequencies and different ways to attune to a greater song, okay? Messenger of air. This is so interesting. The air had messenger, a lot of messenger energy. You know what? I feel that working with words, working with affirmations. Some of you might want to work with mantras. It's going to be very supportive for you. I would definitely suggest here the soul fragments retrieval. Some of you, if you are YouTube members, you have an inner child sovereignty frequency. And I would suggest even to some of you that have this to use the mantra of the inner child while you're listening to the soul fragments frequency. If you are a YouTube premium member and you are able to skip the ads, that's actually something you can get. You can have a free month to my um to my subscription. So that could be something you want to uh, look at. And the six of earth, which is where we have the goat here and where we have here a different animal, which is more of a buck. Okay. And I'm getting a very interesting message here because it shows me that here there's a desire and need to balance the inner child, to balance uh, that passion, making sure you don't burn yourself because you want to nurture what you love. And with the six of earth that comes here in this channel, I'm feeling that a part of you needs to acknowledge that not everyone deserves your energy. Not everyone is going to love you or like you you're going to also be triggering others in an awakening. Especially as you heal yourself, parts of you that shine, they might create a contrast for others. Okay? So I'm feeling, and I put it upright already, because as I'm saying this to you, I know you will, you will harness that power and that understanding. The people that are meant for you to work with, to be in your life, you'll recognize this energy because that's the energy you're going to receive and harness through the Aquarius season. Well, I feel like I <laughs> just made a big, strong point. <laughs> I feel like I just saw someone just like, yes, you know, it's almost like a resolution. I want you to have the resolution, the in it passion, that whatever you're invested in, whatever you're going to commit to, it's going to be this big yes, okay? It has to create a big yes in you, a resonating yes. And also being able to understand that whoever does not vibrate with that, just let it fall out, just like leaves on a tree. Let things naturally unfold. There is a message with connecting with nature uh, through the collective message that is very important, just like nature. <sighs> well, I'm sorry, I'm just getting a lot here. Um, allow yourself to tap in that true nature. Some of you, if you haven't checked out my true abundant nature album this is an album i released between 2023 to 2024 because i knew that was going to be very useful to learn those breathing techniques to have those different binaural beats frequencies that can help you expand and have awareness of whatever blocks could be in the way now i don't know why but now i'm feeling curious what is creating sadness a fortune's wheel in the reverse and the six of fire. I want another card. The nine of earth. You know what I'm feeling here? Is that some of you, the sadness could be to look at, to compare yourself to others 
and maybe what they have, their fortune, or how maybe you feel and you project that other people's life is easier or it's just different. And um, that would block six of fire, the six of one, that would block your victory. Maybe not feeling successful, maybe uh, underestimating your victories or not remembering some of your big achievements. You want to do this because this is going to help you ground. I feel this is almost like everything that has happened in the past that created those, those dark nights of the soul, those those moments of deep sadness that you had to transmute. I really, I really feel this for you, uh, water, uh, sun, or rising sign. You had to transmute a lot. And this is almost like a source of power. Connect more to your dark feminine energy, the, 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 the womb, the void. Okay, there's something here as far as being able to recreate yourself with this time the knowledge of your past experience if you are a youtube member go and check out the void frequency i really feel that could be um supportive but definitely soul fragments retrieval because maybe certain experiences they fragmented your light you know it created certain uh belief system especially with the air belief system ways of thinking that almost like a parent that's talking down to their kids and say like you're not good at this why would you waste your time doing this or do you you know instilling doubts make sure that your voice is supportive this affirm things that are in balance with how much you've overcome and truly, all this that you've transmuted, that you've overcome, that not even just survived, but now are able to make it something that you can thrive from. That really feels like interesting. I don't know why, but I almost had like the energy of a mushroom. So some of you, if that's something you do, um, that could be <laughs> uh, a sign for some of you. If you have, were called to a shamanic medicine walk, um, yeah, interesting message I did not expect. Let's get another dragon energy now that we've moved all of this. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Wow, a flying one. Well, obviously dragons. <laughs> wow, the same one that came this time upright. It came in the reverse of the air, but here it comes again, the green dragon. Really enhancing this nature energy. It says helps you tune into the secrets of nature. Receive answers and guidance from nature aligned with your divine essence. By the way, the one that have access to the void, the sacred geometry that I use in terms of frequency, it creates a shell. When I discovered this, uh, this frequency sequence and I used it, I was so stoked. <laughs> I was like, I can't believe this. And the results are really amazing and they're really good for uh, starting over, especially when you have this type of ego death energy. All right, you guys, this is what I have for you. I trust this is supporting you. Give it a thumbs up if it did. You can check out all the offers that I have. Always have some promotions and things going on here. I'm sending you many blessings and much love and light. Namaste. Earth elements. So if you are a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, sun or rising, this is your message. I want to apologize for already having the cards turned. I like to show you the shuffling. But what happened is I had an incident with the recording. And I was like, okay, fine. I tried to re-record this. And I kept on not feeling that same very important energy. And I kept on receiving that this was the message. So I literally, this, those cards stood out so much in my mind's eye that I could not forget them. So I was able to retrieve them. And here I am. <laughs> here we go. So I want to show them to you because it just felt important. And I did not want to have this little mishaps with the computer not to deliver this message, okay? So we have here Archangel Gabriel's dragon. 
it brings purification. Self-discipline will speed ascension and bring joy. You can carry Archangel Gabriel's diamond. Now, we have the letting go and family tribe that came in the reverse. The white buffalo with the ace of pentacles, prosperity, divine gifts, and lost opportunities. The King of Cups or the Octopus. Calm clarity, control over emotions, <clears throat> self-compassion. Sounded like I didn't have the control over my emotions here <laughs> with this voice. <sighs> Giraffe, Eight of Pentacles, Apprenticeship, Quality Craftsmanship, and Mastery. Okay. I have to take into account everything that occurred for you earth element okay so whether it's your rising sign or it's your sun sign there's for this month you know this season in Aquarius where you're invited to step into leadership Aquarius is the way shower there is something from the past that you want to let go of it seems that there could have been something that happened through happened to you and maybe the way it was perceived by the family or the way it made you feel and I'm feeling like maybe outcast from the family because look at this it's like all those this all those people the way I just that's how it felt maybe feeling like you're separated all those people between the family and you okay maybe something happened and purifying the past, especially I would tell you from a place of thinking that you might have lost certain opportunities because whatever you had to learn from this past event here, family seems to be weighing here, okay, on how you felt, or maybe how they labeled or judged that experience. There is a gift. There are gifts that once you purify that whole field, you know, of whatever has happened, that's going to be of service. Because Aquarius, in, through the way showing, is serving others. This is someone that walks their talk. They're applying, especially here with the self-discipline and the Eight of Pentacles that speaks of mastery. There is an invitation through the season of Aquarius to really put into um, motion all the lessons in from the past. Now let's work through all of this here, okay? So we want you to really be able to release the past because I have a very popular reel on Instagram that speaks of needing to release what needs to be released in order to receive what needs to be received. There's something here for you. It's something that you are meant to receive. Now, with the Eight of Fire, kind of got confused here um, with whether it was upright or not. But this is about communication with the divine. This is about divine communication. And I feel that it is important for you to allow yourself, especially with the octopus, it's almost like... Uh, there's an element of shape-shifting. There's an element of allowing you to adapt to certain, maybe, situations. Maybe that ability that you develop, maybe it comes from whatever you have encountered in the past. Those were abilities that are divine that you can now master in service of something greater. Okay, let's see what else. Now, there could have been some duality about those gifts, about this experience, especially with the purity, 
the lost opportunities and how this card was a little bit in between upright and reversed. Okay, let's see where we are. Ace of Water. Wow, with the seahorse. This, I feel, you see, white, white, white. It's still in the process. It's an ace. It's still, it's going to open. It's going to unfold. But we want to make sure that we're letting go of this past. Let me see here. The four of fire in the reverse. Maybe there's something about marriage about union, feeling unity, feeling maybe the pressure of the uh, marriage um, conditioning of society, having to um, follow a certain path, maybe, you know, the white picket fence and building a family and all of this. It could have been this. It could have been that you took a different road than just following what your family and ancestors had instilled in you and it could have been disappointing that's what i feel and i'm feeling better now that we mentioned this because i feel that there you took a different road you took a different road and that road was meant to lead you to this moment especially for this aquarius season where you're going to have an awareness, a keener awareness of the gift that you developed, even if it didn't look uh, right or the right way to others. For you, that you knew that this was part of your path. Maybe you didn't know when it was happening, but you went through that path. And there's something that wants to be born out of those experiences. Okay, so this is interesting because you have the King of Cups and the Queen of uh, Water. She came reversed, and I feel this is more of following your feminine principle, your, uh, your senses, following what your senses tell you. And balancing. So there's a balancing here with your ability to tap into your compassion what's interesting is because we're channeling this for earth okay we're getting a lot of water quality here and it means that when you have water and earth this is all yin yin energy and it can literally just start just just like wood on, on too much water or you know uh with this earth element it can just get drowned you can lose the power. So it's saying here, balance, balance what you've learned because otherwise we have a lot of earth. Balance what you've learned. Balance the creativity that you have received. It's, this one, especially from the Good Tarot, speaks of an adventure, okay? It seems that you had to go on an adventure. <laughs> And in this adventure, there was, there was some things that needed to be harnessed for you to open up this gift. This gift is through more compassion, okay? More, and at the same time, more clarity through compassion. So you had to learn compassion also for yourself. Compassion for yourself. Maybe you were not taught those things you know, as far as uh, emotional intelligence or having that space for emotional nurture. So now you're going to be through Aquarius season in a phase where you can self-master, but it's going to require of you that awareness, that awareness that you decided to go on a different path. You decided to develop different skills, adapt to different environments, so you would have developed self-compassion and also a mental clarity about probably develop spiritual intelligence, emotional intelligence, not just intelligence, you know, like intellectual. And 
this is going to be something that's going to be very valuable and you're going to start receiving more from this uh this season this month okay all right fire and water dragon enables your life to flow with loving force love seems to be a very big part of this season for you self-love self-compassion self-care prepare for change and to move forward quickly expect the unexpected and have fun i like this because there's a quality here that uh whatever you're entering through this season it might mean new a new phase a new direction but this is more in alignment with a more compassionate version of yourself, more caring version of yourself, where you're going to feel more seen, appreciated. There's going to be uh, the sense of give and take and flow. And um, there's definitely a, a speed up, sped up of your manifestation. Let's see. I feel there's like something, something missing. Let me see what's missing. Let me see what's missing. What is missing? Okay. We have here. Wow. I told you. This is the spider, the high priestess, balance, intuition, sacred knowledge. I feel there's something about this whole journey that you've been on so far that's going to be revealed, that's going to make more sense because there's mental clarity. More sense about your journey is going to come through. Wow. With the cow, abundance, creativity, fertility. Wow, earth elements like that. This is like two major arcanas that are big. You already have a power couple here with the king and queen of water. But you have to go through this to have keen intuition, to navigate this uh, reality, to enable you to manifest abundance and a version of yourself that is creatively aligned with the flow of the universe a version of you that's also purified you know some of you you had maybe to purge a certain karma for your ancestral lineage or just for yourself and you're doing it so there's through this discipline through this dedication you're reaping the rewards and um, i wouldn't be surprised there's a new adventure ahead for you all right that's what i have for you for this season thank you so very much Please remember to like those videos if it supported you and you can check the description box for all the promotions and offers that I have. Namaste. Fire elements. So if you are an Aries, a Leo, or Sagittarius sun or rising sign, this message is for you. If you want to listen to a collective message, you can listen to the air element. This is for Aquarius season. So January 20th, to February 19th, 2024. Let's see what we have for this season. We're going to pull a dragon, some healing cards. Okay, those two. Okay, what else? Oh. Oh, this is a big deck. <laughs> Let's see what we have for this. The Ark, the Animal Tarot, an Oracle deck. Okay, up, oh. and maybe this one too. All right, let's see, let's see. Fire signs. The magenta dragon enables you to bring forward your soul's wisdom, awaken your soul memories and higher spiritual understanding. Prepare for accelerated ascension. Beautiful color. I'm hearing the word initiation. Some of you, maybe you're going through an initiation. Your higher self is stepping in, initiating to certain skills, craftsmanship. I don't know, something is being initiated. Whoa. All right. I mean, <laughs> Kundalini activation, awakening much. Okay, we are definitely 
on fire. <laughs> Sexuality and sexual arts coming up for fire rising and fire sun sign for Aquarius season. Now, in a way, I'm not so surprised because in your Kundalini, you have all this potential. And I'm feeling especially for you, the 33 vertebrae, very important here as far as how you can tap into the potential, tap into those higher frequencies of your wisdom. Let's see what, what? <laughs> didn't know this animal was going to be part of it. Road runner, knight of swords, courage in action, best of intentions. Okay. Aina, the ten of swords, betrayal, deep wounds, recovery under the sexuality. Interesting. The snow leopard, the hermit, ascension, illumination, introspection. So right away for you, I'm feeling that I want to mention the psoas frequency and the auric field womb detoxifying. I have an activation to release some of the traumas of and also purify the auric field that you shared with your mother for the seven years of your life when you're a child you have no ability to protect you're sharing the same field you know it's like the brain waves you're in at those in those years of young age that's what we say children are like sponges because they're literally almost like under hypnosis they're just receiving and they take everything as truth. So there's something here as far as something related to the womb, something related to creating, creation that wants to be released, that wants to be purged, that wants to be also giving you what it gives you in return, power. This is going to require you for this Aquarius season some more solitude time to look at how balanced you are in your yin-yang energy. I do have a yin-yang frequency playlist. I would suggest that as well. All right, let's see. With the tarot cards, what other messages enables you to bring forward your soul's wisdom with courage and action? I think the best of intentions The wheel of fortune. I like this. This 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 season is going to change a lot of things for you. Change things up. Things are going to rapidly, especially with this road runner, move in a new direction. And I feel in a direction where you're able to really start receiving more of the insights of why maybe you had to experience certain situations in life, okay? There's almost like a feeling of a rebirth, of a second chance through the illumination of this season, through the ascension, whatever is going to be received through those cosmic alignments. Some of you, maybe there's something in your transits, Look at your natal chart. Look at what could be transiting, what could be activating. It could be some return of a planet. Some of you, if you don't know, I do have promotions until the end of January for the natal chart reading. Interesting. I have a card under the deck that did not come with me. Usually a shadow. The seven of fire in reverse. So this is a seven of wands. In this tarot deck this speaks of being unique this speaks of being a unicorn okay now this also especially in the reverse speaks of maybe <clears throat> wow i feel in my throat outside energies outside intruders outside maybe um 
especially with this, I would say maybe some people used to benefit from the old version of you, but you're moving on from this. And I feel this is going to be probably um, triggering in you a lot of insights about healing about healing whatever had been created. And I would say here and suggest if it was about like em being an empath and with narcissistic type of personalities in your relationships, it may have um, almost dimmed your kundalini, your life force, because those are energies that are like vampire energy. So this is almost like something that I feel here Ending a cycle of, of shy, shying away from your true light, from the true wisdom. Ending this cycle of also having uh, weaker boundaries or allowing people to step into your field of creation that don't value you as much. This is interesting. I would definitely suggest for you to listen to the collective message because there was a lot of guidance about entrapment and how we can rehearse ourselves into a certain version of our story that would entrap us and would lock us into a certain matrix, matrix of, of uh, circumstance and repetition. And with this, I know you are stepping out of it. But you're stepping out of what? Out of... It feels like a, a lot of psychic boundaries needs to be brought up. It could have been manipulation. Watch the, or go and check out the super empath playlist. Because it feels that you might want to work on boundaries. Six of fire. I like this. Some of you want to mention it. Maybe you're born in 67 or 76, or you could be born in July or June. Um, I don't know why, but sometimes it happens that dates just pop up. Six of fire, six of one is victory. You're going to have a month that's going to show you almost like how maybe in the past you were caught in a certain matrix, a certain cycle. And this is a, a time, this is a season that you're stepping out of it. You just want to make sure you have strong, keen awareness of your sensual energy as far as, you know, how you entangle yourself with desires with others and make sure that you have energy boundaries. So working on your aura, working on your field, working on self-mastery as far as your light is going to be important. I feel there's another dragon that wants to come forward for you. Pure white dragon from Orion transforms your ascension knowledge into pure wisdom. This came in the reverse. There's, there's definitely something about the quantum entanglement with others. Okay, I would say here, I have to mention it because I feel it strongly. Go and check out your chart. If you have eighth house energy, if you have certain placement, it might be something there. You might be activated in some shape or form. Or you might have a relationship or a past relationship where you shared energy where with an a eighth house placement that could be still creating chords. Okay, I know this is vague, but this is what I can give you as an insight. This is for a collective. Um, pure white dragon from Orion. Process what you know. Act with truth and honesty and let your wings of light grow and expand. I feel there's some type of lie, some type of probably a perception of yourself. Maybe you were in a relationship that was trying to dim your light, that was trying to constrict it, that you know didn't allow you to express yourself in eccentric ways or in the ways they were saying like you're too much. Too much for this, too much for this. You got to tone it down. Um, and I feel that you have to dive deep into how it may have affected you. 
Some of you, if you have access to the YouTube membership, go and check out the 33 vertebrae. I do have, if you are a YouTube premium and you can skip the ads, you are granted a whole free month for accessing my memberships. I would say go and listen to this, the 33 vertebrae uh, frequencies. Now, if you don't have access, you can also listen to the spleen. I feel for you. Because the spleen is connected to all 33 vertebrae. And it is connected to allowing faith and success. And I feel this is something, oof, I got chills, yeah. Woo, a lot of chills, you guys. Uh, someone saw your light and saw it and trying to dim it, trying to contain it, trying to constrict it because they took advantage of it. It was feeding them. Okay. So you have to make sure that you're aware of those cycles. It's not so much about the person. I would not be surprised if you had many, many cycles of this already with people. So that means you have to understand what you're doing with your energy that allows them to step into that field. And that means you have to understand boundaries, energy boundaries, following your guidance when you feel. And watch one thing. I, I feel it. I have to say it. Watch the fatal lethal attraction, especially as an empath, to be drawn by your wound. Because this is something maybe you've been wired to go towards. There's almost, I do have here, yes, I have a trauma bonding release frequency. It's called quantum fascia healing, releasing a karmic and trauma bondage. There, I feel so much better. Woo! <laughs> fire signs and fire rising. Okay, freedom. Definitely freedom coming in. Let's see what's coming next after we're doing all of this. Wow. What can we expect? Yes, I love this. The Six of Cups with the order reunion, reminiscing inner child. Some of you, if it is about a relationship, there might be a relationship that's greater that's coming, but at least there is a reunification of yourself. There's a sense of wholeness. There's a sense of tapping into your inner child, the sacred version of yourself. I love this for you. This is my messages for you. I'm sending you many blessings, much love and light. And remember, you can give it a thumbs up. It supports the channel to grow and you can check out my promotions in the description box if you need support. Namaste.